The next style of men's sunglasses that we're going to discuss is the ever popular and seemingly ageless aviator. For whatever reason, um, and I'm not exactly sure, I can't really tell you what the uh, genuine benefits are to wearing an aviator aside from being a Tom Cruise throwback from uh, uh, Top Gun. But uh, I consider this to kind of definitely be an older style or if it has different tinting, maybe it's the Brad Pitt style of the ages. But um, generally speaking on the aviator, you have a tendency to see this double bar. Double bar means absolutely nothing. It's not giving you any more extra dexterity. Um, the aviator is defined by the drop of the lens in, in a uh, particular area. It just kind of flares out at the bottom like this. So again, there really isn't any uh, true benefit. This is a, you know, obviously a relatively large sunglass. I know that this isn't my style, but you know, a lot of gentlemen, this is their preference, and they come in here looking for this all the time. So it does give you great coverage, but other than that, you know, and maybe the, like I said, the throwback style, you know, style of, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Top Gun, uh, Top Gun sunglasses. There really, there really isn't any difference between this style. And a matter of fact, you can kind of see, you don't get any side covers, so light's going to cut in through here regardless. So, um, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Again, not my favorite type of sunglass, but a lot of gentlemen prefer this just because it's something that they've worn you know, for quite some time and you know, that's what they're used to.